Hello everybody, this is Budrich and this is another episode in the also popular web series Script Kitty Goes to Webland and in this uh, uh, episode we're gonna do that sidebar uh, toggling thing is at least my intention, we'll see if we get there, but I think so uh, because as you can see on the small medium screen breakpoints the sidebar is not visible I would like to, to add like a burger icon uh, that we can click uh, and when we do so it should toggle the state of the sidebar um, Yes, and as you can see I have been a good boy here and prepared some notes um, uh, and I have already done the, the better margins here uh, on, on different screen sizes or viewport sizes and uh, experimented a bit with, with changing the shadows depending on the size yeah here we can see Excel have a larger margin than uh, large and large doesn't have any shadows on, on the article but they should be visible here on LG2 but on extra large it's a different shadow I know details 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 but whatever that's what I've done here uh, but now we're gonna do the secret checkbox CSS dirt hack so Check this out. I have prepared this a bit here, but maybe we should do it again from scratch here. Let's first create a div here. Um, uh, something div. Just to see wh wh where we are on the screen and stuff, because now I am editing uh, the raw HTML here directly into the article here. Because I want to demo this uh, CSS dirt hack checkbox thing. Okay, this is where we are. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, create a checkbox here. Uh, so you do that by, by using the HTML element called input, but you set the type to checkbox. So if we do this. Now we have a checkbox here, and the checkbox is a very, very uh, interesting HTML uh, element because the checkbox has two different states. It can be either uh, non-checked or checked, uh, and this is something that you can uh, you you can set different rules for different elements on your uh, uh, web page through CSS. Uh, depending on the state of a checkbox uh, and that uh, gives you some, some cool possibilities to do things that you otherwise would probably think you would need uh, JavaScript for for example creating a sidebar toggle we, can, we will make here rules that will uh, see when a checkbox is, is uh, uh, checked then it will show the sidebar otherwise it will hide it <coughs> But before we go into that, let me show you how this uh, works here with some raw uh, HTML uh, stuff here. We should add an ID to our checkbox, it's kind of important. So, um, yeah, I already had there my test checkbox. Let's, let's use that. My test checkbox. Uh, and this will not do anything now. If I reload the page, it will look exactly the same. This is just like, like an internal ID, and that is useful here because now we will add a label uh, for uh, this checkbox. Uh, so we write uh, the, 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 the ID of, of the checkbox should uh, match here this for attribute of the label. This is the label. And now we have a label here, and when we link it with this for attribute, that means we can click this label to check the checkbox. If we if we don't have the right ID here, then this label uh, uh, is not linked to the checkbox. Now nothing happens when I click it. So this is uh, uh, important here, and uh, we could also. Uh, add this here just to have some 
even more cool stuff we can do with this. So now I added uh, just an uh, unnor uh, unnumbered list here uh, in the same div as a sibling to, to this label and the input checkbox thing there. Okay, cool. Now, when we got that set up, uh, I have also prepared here a, a SAS file that we can use here. I call it sidebar, it's empty right now. But the, if we write uh, any rules here, it will apply to the page because I Im import this file in here, whatever. Let's just pretend this is uh, uh, the, the CSS file for the page, which it kind of is. We could start uh, by uh, targeting our uh, checkbox uh, checkbox element here, creating a rule for that, um, and for example, do display colon none. This will hide the checkbox, and it's a bit slow here to wrong class name. Base of, ah, oh, that's right, we have the ID here. Okay. Let's leave it like that and, and, and use the ID because ID can be targeted in CSS as well by just changing this dot to a pound symbol. And this should work. Hopefully. Yes, it worked. Um, and if we want to target the label here, since we are using SAS, S CSS, we can just uh, type label here. Uh, and then we could set like a text color to red or something here. Hope this will work. No, this will not work. Um, This didn't work either, but let's see, general sibling or adjacent sibling will work good. There, now it's red. Uh, let's change this to a plus also, because these notes I have here, uh, I found them here. I will link that in the show notes, this page. This is very, very good to know how these things work. And as you can see, I barely understand or remember how they work, but uh, you can do some really, really cool things uh, when you master these CSS combinators here. So I will link this page and I highly recommend you having a look at it. Um, and I will not explain it further because I barely understand how. The ampersand here, that's a SAS uh, alias here to the parent selector, which is ID my test checkbox. So this, yeah, it, it's an alias. So we could also write this, but then I guess we have to move it outside. Maybe this was just overkill to show it like this, or maybe we should do this and not use the SAS uh, 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 at all here. So now this is vanilla CSS. Okay. Um, but what we can do is we can add a rule here to see if my test checkbox is checked, colon checked. And then we can change the color to blue. Let's show the checkbox also now. Remove that visible display none there, so now we can see the checkbox. Now if I click the checkbox, it changes the color, because here th these are two different rules, you know. So if it is uh, uh, checked, then this rule apply, otherwise this rule applies. Um, and of course, this works even if the checkbox itself is uh, uh, not visible display none. This means the checkbox is not visible and rendered in the HTML, but it uh, still exists. So we can still 
check and uncheck the checkbox here. Um, one thing, uh, a small detail here is that as you can see the cursor doesn't change here uh, to like uh, we don't get the, this nice link yeah my, well nice this is my cursor it changes on, on links to, to a different cursor but it doesn't do so on, on labels here by default but we could just add um, a cursor rule here uh, pointer and then we will, it will appear as a link here for us. Now you see we have a different cursor. Um, but you, you can change other elements and not just uh, not just uh, the label here. But I think the the elements need to be connected to the checkbox somehow. Like here in, in our uh, HTML here. I, I hope you can see this. This is a copy of, of, of the HTML we use at the page there. We have the checkbox here and then the label and then the list under this. And the list is a sibling to the checkbox and the label. They are on the same level. If, if, we, if I would move this list outside the div here for example, then it would be uh, very difficult and, and weird to target uh, to make like a, a rule connected to the uh, checked state of the of, of, of the checkbox so this is one of the drawbacks using this method you have to uh, add these elements adjacent to to the ones you want to control uh, and then we can also see the plus sign here it means adjacent uh, sibling so it uh, it will only target siblings that are connected. For example, here now the checkbox plus label. It will target this. These two siblings are adjacent. They are connected. These two siblings um, aren't really. Or maybe this this will work, but it wouldn't work if I had two ULs here. Uh, maybe we should add that actually, uh, just to demo this. It, it's a good idea. And here we can do alpha, beta, and then I don't know because I'm stupid, but is it gamma maybe, whatever, and I don't know the rest here. Save. Now we have two different ULs here. Going back to sidebar. Uh, and then instead of, of uh, modifying uh, the, the color of the label let's see if we can modify the color of the ul when uh, the checkbox is checked we couldn't because plus here listens for an adjacent sibling so now we need to use this uh, uh, general sibling selector instead but then i guess it will yeah, I think that will color both of these. So this was a terrible example now. Yeah, you see now the text here of, of the UL uh, is uh, blue when it's checked. Maybe it's hard to see. Maybe we can change this to pink or something. It's better. Uh, it's even harder to see, but whatever. But at least we see there's a change. And this means we could could. Uh, we don't uh, just have to change the color, we could um, change the visibility. Display none. So now when the checkbox is checked, it will hide this, uh, or it will actually hide both of these ULs. Um, Yeah, I guess if we only wanted to target the first UL here, I think we can do this. Uh, label UL. Yes, now you see it only uh, uh, 
targets uh, that specific the first first uh, adjacent sibling here to the label I don't know this is kind of com complicated and weird CSS hacks but it's a dirt hack and we are not using any JavaScript whatsoever and this is more or less all we need here um, to, to make this our burger uh, thing so now we can check off this uh, nothing here really well this this item secret checkbox CSS dirt hack I have shown you that now let's create a dummy burger the dummy burger uh, will be connected to the sidebar a side here that is uh, the sidebar can change the color just to show you that it is here so this is a sidebar element a side here so if we want to uh, be able to control this with a checkbox CSS dirt hack, we need to add the checkbox uh, as a sibling here to, to this sidebar. So yeah, let's copy. I have yeah, let's copy it from here or even cut it from here. Let me go to sidebar. Add it here instead. So now we have this stupid stuff here, uh, and, but the sidebar is covering this because the sidebar is, is a fixed item that floats on top of, of, of everything else. Uh, we should be able to see it here for instance, now it looks like this, you know, and we got our toggle thing and everything. But here I would like to translate First off, remove the, the ULs here, we don't need those. Um, and we actually don't need divs here either. Maybe it is a good idea to, to use div there, but no, let's not use that. And see how this will look. Now we only have the, the, the label here, because the checkbox is uh, hidden with the CSS rule. But it lives now inside of its own block here, um, looking really ugly. So let's add some, some custom classes here to our label to make it look more burger-like. Um, do this. We'll start with, with making it fixed. So it will have a fixed position. Um, see what happens then. Then I think that will float over. Uh, well, that was almost enough just doing that. Yeah, let, let's leave it like this for now here. Um, maybe add a background color or something. Maybe also block BG blue. Didn't like BG Blue, BG Blue 500. That was nice, and and this is a tailwind thing. You can set, if I set BG Blue 200, it will will be a much lighter blue and so on. You know. Um, nice. Uh, we could also add some padding, I guess, to make it look uh, better. Padding too there and let's change the text to burger nice okay we got our burger we can click the burger but nothing really happens now now it uh, it tries to toggle uh, these ul things that doesn't exist what we want to target now is uh, the adjacent sibling which should be an aside uh, we could also use this ID sidebar if we wanted to, but let's use the aside here. And just change this UL here to aside. Now when I click nothing really happens because it, 
it is already displayed none here. What we want to do is, uh, well, the normal thing would be to do a display block, I think, here. And then we can see, here it is. Now, god damn it. Uh, the text turned pink here in the sidebar because that's what we have here. And also, the, the burger, uh, it, since the sidebar is a fixed item, uh, I have also set like a, a uh, because you can do that, you can set like said index, it's called here. Here I have said 40 uh, in tail, with a tailwind utility class. It's, it's called C order, uh, meaning which layer it should be so if we if we set a c order z order higher than the sidebar here i think our burger button will be visible over the sidebar and now we can toggle it with this thing here pretty cool of course we don't want the the, the text to be pink and another thing we don't want to do is actually set display block uh, we want to set display flex because that's uh, the um, my sidebar is actually a flex uh, uh, container not sure if this will yeah you can see it positioned the items a bit different now when, when I did that it's even more visible here on the small screen with a block because I have, as you can see, I've already checked some here, customized the sidebar on small and medium screen sizes that I made so the sidebar uh, covers the whole screen when I'm at the small uh, breakpoint and stuff. But just to, to demonstrate the difference here with block, then it will not uh, align the items as I would like them and stuff. It's not a big difference, but whatever. And of course, let's remove this pink color here. Maybe remove color here as well. But this is the secret CSS uh, dirt hack. Another thing now, now the, the, the burger button here is visible on... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it, it kind of works as I wanted to because now it doesn't hide the I guess I left that then have it here not sure why it works now it almost shouldn't but 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 it do so let's let's not dabble with that or this will probably now it's hidden no works okay okay whatever Defer ignore me I guess that's tailwind magic doing that but what we want to do is hide the burger icon on large screen sizes only show it on on medium and small so uh, 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 all we need to do is add a tailwind uh, class here that says uh, LG colon hidden. So now it's hidden on large, but it's visible on small screen sizes. And we have made a sidebar toggler, and now it's not really a sidebar when it's uh, full screen like this, you know, but whatever. Uh, let's uh, hide this guy. Whoops. Now it will probably break here. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day.